When the company was just starting out, it was made with tractors in mind. Lamborghini produced tractors from surplus military hardware and made pretty reliable tractors. Now although today the Lamborghini tractor division is owned by another company, they still have the Lamborghini name and logo on their products. According to the chief Lamborghini designer, his inspiration for the design of the Aventador came from those tiny green jagged leg beetles that smell bad when you step on them. To me that looks pretty clear. I mean, I don't know about you, but I always thought that the Aventador looked like a bug. After Lamborghini went bankrupt, the company was saved by two brothers who went on to be the CEO and president of the company. They expanded the model from the Countach to include the Jalpa and the LM002, which was a high-performance off-road vehicle. Between 1986 and 1993, Lamborghini manufactured the LM002. The truck was designed to be a military vehicle, however they were never accepted. Today they are found to be collector's items and are very rare, although you can still find them on the streets. In 1987, Chrysler bought Lamborghini, only to sell it to an Indonesian and Malaysian investment group in 1994. They then sold it to the Volkswagen group, which put it under control of Audi, which is why today you can hear that Audis and Lamborghinis sound very, very similar. Although many people seem to believe that Lamborghinis are priced very high because of their performance, it actually doesn't take a lot of money to really show how slow they are for the money. Obviously they are really quick, but any Mustang GT or Camaro can keep up or even pass them with just a little bit of boost. So that pretty much wraps up these six things you gotta know. If I got anything wrong, let me know in a comment down below and I'll pin it. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you later.